All right, this is going to be a review of the uh, sun and the power jack. Sorry for my voice. I got laryngitis today. Uh, anyway, here's a review of the data from Tuesday <coughs> uh, where I was using the sun 250 on a nice clear day on my panels collecting power. And I decided I went into the data on the and took an exact 60 minute period of time and was able to measure that the watt hours collected was 116.5 with the Sun G over one hour using this kind of MPPT uh, strategy of ramping the voltage and uh, killing the current a little bit and uh, averaging it out. It comes out 116.5 right in the middle about bottom of this big upper blob I guess is kind of the way you'd look at it. If I do a closer look <coughs> in that period of time, you can see how the MPP was toggling between two voltages. And as I mentioned, it was like 53 seconds here, about three and a half minutes here between them. And then there was a corresponding uh, opposite effect on the amp side and uh, a little bit of suffering on the on the watts when he would ever try to lower the voltage down. I lo look in a little closer and you can see the voltage was between 12 volts and about 17 volts is kind of the way it was uh, designed is kind of the way that uh, waveform looks during that peak power period <coughs> so it's kind of interesting to characterize it here with this watts view uh, device which I'd highly recommend it's worked reliably and it's uh, gives us insight into this stuff that we wouldn't be able to get just with regular meters all right so now let's go over to the uh, the power jack which I ran yesterday all right here's the power jack 300 which uh, you know on the surface it looks, it's got the exact same case exact same terminals looks like it's the just the same thing with just a different label on the front but testing electronically uh, they definitely de de per perform differently uh, anyway here's the morning ramp up with the peak power and I did the same thing I took the peak power part of the day and uh, got exactly 60 minutes of collection and this particular case it came out 113.9 versus 116.5 on the uh, on the Sun you know but that could have merit that could have been just a slight difference in the atmosphere uh, I consider both of these to be close enough that they're both given about very comparable performance and uh, but you can see the voltage and the current is acting a lot cleaner than it was with the uh, Sun 250. If I look at the afternoon curve, it just came down nice and smooth, kicking off. And then we got finally got some reaction out of the voltage at the end here on the MPPT on the power jack, which you weren't really seeing that through the peak period. All right, so here's a little zoom-in view of. Uh, that peak period there, the voltage you can tell in this case is toggling between, uh, you know, a little above 14 to 16 volts. The amps playing pretty steady uh, in the high seven amp range for the whole period of time there. <coughs> if I zoom in further, this is about uh, three minutes worth of data. You can see the voltage was pretty, pretty solidly between uh, 14 to 16 and the amps. Pretty solid through that period of time. Do a quick look back at the uh, at the power jack. Or excuse me, the Sun 250. This is what it was doing, basically uh, over the short period. So you see a lot of uh, oscillation between 12 volts and 17 versus the power jack, which is keeping it between 14 and 16. So this Probably throws the grabs a little bit above 16 in this case, and throws away a little bit on the bottom side. But <clears throat> as I mentioned, the the overall power between the two ended up over the course of an hour period of time basically identical. You know, within a couple watts, watt hours anyway. So I don't know. This might have to still do a little more uh, testing to determine. Uh, you know, really, are we getting the most out of our panels using these grid tie inverters or, or not? So stay tuned. Bye.